Are you thinking of adopting a Cane Corso as your next canine companion? This isn't the perfect dog breed for everyone, so listen on to learn more about the Italian Mastiff. Hello everyone and welcome to our channel Dog Nation, where we enrich you with all the knowledge you should have if you're a by heart dog lover. We hope we'll be able to answer all your questions in our videos and would love to learn from you guys also. So, please share your thoughts and queries with us in the comment section below and do subscribe to the channel and like the video. Also, you can send pictures of your furry friends on the email listed in the description to get them featured on our channel. So without any wait, let's start with the video. The Cane Corso is calm, extremely loyal and intelligent. Their dominant appearance is replaced by a dog that is easy to train and eager to please her owner. They are easy to train as puppies but tend to have willful and socially dominant personalities. This breed has plenty of energy and requires a home that has a lot of space to run and play. They are at their best when regularly exercised and given some type of job. If left cooped up in a house all day, it can lead to some undesirable behaviors to keep themselves occupied. They are purebred dogs, but that doesn't mean they can't be found at rescue shelters or groups. Ready to learn 17 facts about the breed? Let's jump in. This is an ancient breed. Dating back to ancient Greece, Cane Corsi were warrior dogs. When the Romans conquered the Greek islands, the legionnaires brought the dogs back to Italy and bred them with Italian dogs. Over the centuries, the breed became well-rounded farm dogs, guarding property, droving, and hunting game. The Cane Corso is very loyal and affectionate with their own people. This is not a dog that becomes the best friend of everyone they meet. In fact, they're indifferent to other dogs and people not in their family, but they are intensely loyal and protective of their own family. Not only is he loyal, he's extremely sensitive to his people. A Cane Corso will be very attuned to your moods and feelings and may even think they are the cause of your happiness, grief, anger, or pride. Cane Corsi owners describe the relationship as one of subtlety and depth. A Cane Corso will expect to share your home and your life. Bred to work alongside the family, your dog will want to spend every minute of their waking hours with you. They thrive on companionship and want to be wherever you are and as close to you as possible. The Cane Corso talks, or at least he vocalizes. You can expect snorts, snuffles, howls, and a roo-roo sound somewhere between barking and singing that Cane Corsi owners know very well. Training is paramount, and by training we mean that you must train the dog, not send them away to obedience school. You may want the help of a trainer experienced with the breed, but your Cane Corso must learn to work with and obey you. A Cane Corso is at his best with a job to do. The Cane Corso thrives on stimulation, both mental and physical, and will shine if given a job, whether working on the farm or helping with the children. In fact, the breed excels at dog sports like tracking, agility, and scent work. It's not pronounced Cane Corso. Let's get this one out of the way at the outset. When people mispronounce dog breed names, they say Rockweiler when they mean Rottweiler, Doberman for Doberman, and Bichon Fries for Bichon Fries, and on and on and on. Now, to be fair, with Cane Corso, unlike with these other breeds, the way it's spelled does look like the way it should be pronounced. But if you're going to own a Cane Corso, please give your dog the proper pronunciation. It's Cane Corso. Most people avoid having to explain the pronunciation by simply referring to the breed as Corso. Cane Corso can be dominant. This is more of a fear thing. You may have heard that dogs can feel fear in humans and that is true to some degree. In some breeds, this can simply cause them to be reluctant to be around insecure people. A Corso can be a very dominant dog and if he is frightened by a human, he may decide that the human has nothing to do with being the boss. They may decide that they should be pack leaders and may become stubborn or even aggressive towards weak humans. Again, if you don't know your ability to handle large and potentially dominant animals, a Corso isn't the right dog for you. Can a Corso should not be physically trained? First, do not physically train your dog. Having a dog like a Yorkie, Dachshund, or even a Golden Retriever may not be good for body training, but trying to do that to a Can a Corso could end up in a hospital. It's a large, powerful dog that may react out of fear, not necessarily out of anger. But if a dog this size reacts to incredible jaw pressure, well, I hope you have good insurance to cover post-suture physical therapy. Can a Corso loves to play. Play? Play more? Play again? Play until the cows come home? That's your Cane Corso. If you like exercise, a Cane Corso might be the perfect dog for you. 
Of course, the downside is that if you don't want to spend a lot of time playing with your Corso, you end up with an unhappy and grumpy dog. If you want a large dog, we recommend using one of the couch potato breeds, such as the English Mastiff, Great Dane, or Neapolitan Mastiff. Your Canet Corso could bankrupt you. No dog is perfectly healthy or immune to disease and disability. However, Canet Corso can be prone to diseases that are expensive to treat. These include elbow and hip dysplasia, gastric torsion, heart disease, and various cancers. If your heart calls you to spend money on a Corso, I also recommend a different kind of call to a pet insurance company. The last thing you want is to find out that your Corso has a serious costly illness or disability that you don't have the money to care for. You can buy a lot of peace of mind with pet insurance, usually for a fairly reasonable monthly premium. Your Canet Corso may cost your friend. If you decide to adopt a Canet Corso, you should accept that there are people who are afraid of your dog. You may be hesitant to go see them. Corso is a scary-looking dog that might scare your friends. In this case, getting your friend to interact with your dog is more important than getting your dog to interact with your friend. It may or may not work. Try it once and decide which is more important after all, your friend or your dog. I would appreciate it if you could choose your dog. Your Canet Corso won't lose much. Canet Corso is not a so-called seasonal shedding. Regular grooming isn't just for Corso shedding. In fact, if your Corso is loved and petted on a regular basis, chances are you won't have a problem with her shedding hair. Canet Corsos are tied tight and fast. If you decide to own a Canet Corso, expect him to choose one person in your family to love and protect. It doesn't mean that it means he chooses one. For this reason, Corsos are best suited for singletons, but can be a great family dog under the right circumstances when he doesn't have a single alpha person. Canet Corsos were not bred to fight. You may have heard through lamestream media that Canet Corso was bred to fight. Canet Corso was originally bred to herd livestock and help farmers get their livestock to market. The idea that any dog was bred to fight another dog of the same breed is utter nonsense. Your Canet Corso is a pit bull. Looking at the Canet Corso is normally docked ears and strong body, people often say you must be related to a pit bull. In fact, the term pit bull is very overused. The only true pit bull breeds are the American Staffordshire Terrier, American Bully, and Staffordshire Bull Terrier. However, going back in the history of dogfighting, dogs thrown into a pit to fight other dogs of their own kind for the amusement of their haters are sometimes called pit bulls. These include English Mastiffs, Rottweilers, Boxers, Canet Corso, and more. So if you're wondering if your Canet Corso is related to a pit bull, the answer is no, because they are a pit bull breed. So, these are your 17 Canet Corso dog breed facts. However, if you have other questions that may relate to Corso or dogs in general, please ask us the same in the comment section below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel where you get to know something new with each video.